So the gross net, the gross and net market borrowings through dated securities during 24-25 are estimated at 14.13 uh, lakh crore rupees and 11.75 lakh crore respectively. Both will be less than that in 23-24. Now that the private investments are happening at scale, the lower borrowings by the central government will facilitate larger availability of credit for the private sector. Vote on account. I'll be seeking vote on account approval of the parliament through the appropriation bill for a part of the financial year 2024-25. I will now move to part B. Honorable Speaker, sir, over the last 10 years, the direct tax collections have more than trebled and the return filers swelled 2.4 times. I would like to assure the taxpayers that their contributions have been used wisely for the development of the country and welfare of its people. I appreciate the taxpayers for their continued support. The government has reduced and rationalized tax rates. Under the new tax scheme, there is now no tax liability for taxpayers with income up to 7 lakh rupees, up from 2.2 lakh rupees in the financial year 2013-14. The threshold for presumptive taxation for retail businesses was increased from 2 crores to 3 crores. Similarly, the threshold for professionals eligible for presumptive taxation was increased from 50 lakh rupees to 75 lakh rupees. Also, corporate tax rate was decreased from 30% to 22% for existing domestic companies and to 15% for certain new manufacturing companies. Honorable Speaker, sir, in the last five years, our focus has been to improve taxpayer services. The age-old jurisdiction-based assessment system was transformed with the introduction of faceless assessment and appeal, thereby imparting greater efficiency, transparency, and accountability. Introduction of updated income tax returns, a new Form 26 AS, and pre-filling of tax returns have made filing of tax returns simpler and easier. Average processing time of returns has been reduced from 93 days in the year 2013-14 to a mere 10 days this year, thereby making refunds faster. Indirect taxation. By unifying the highly fragmented indirect tax regime in India, the GST has reduced the compliance burden on trade and industry. The industry has acknowledged the benefits of GST. According to a recent survey conducted by a leading consulting firm, 94% of industry leaders view the transition to GST as largely positive. According to 80% of the respondents, it has led to supply chain optimization as elimination of tax arbitrage and octroi has resulted in disbanding of check posts at the state and city boundaries. At the same time, tax base of GST more than doubled and the average monthly gross GST collection has almost doubled to 1.66 lakh crores this year. States too have benefited. States SGST revenue, including compensation released to states in the post-GST period of 2017-18 to 2022-23, has achieved a buoyancy of 1.22. In contrast, the tax buoyancy of state revenues from subsumed taxes in the pre-GST four-year period of 2012-13 to 2015-16 was a mere 0.72. The biggest beneficiaries are consumer, consumers, 
as reduction in logistic cost and taxes have brought down prices of most goods and services. We have taken a number of steps in customs to facilitate international trade. As a result, the import release time declined by 47 percent to 71 hours at inland container depots, by 28 percent to 44 hours at air cargo complexes, and by 27 percent to 85 hours at seaports over the last four years since 2019, when the national time release studies were first acted. Tax proposals. As for tax proposals, in keeping with the convention, I do not propose to make any changes relating to taxation and propose to retain the same tax rates for direct and indirect taxes, including import duties. जदि आपन को हम वीडियो टी भल लागिला तबे हम चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा भी बोलंतु नहीं